Okay, Chris, and I can report the tents behind us now at Athletes Village starting to fill up. In fact, just went inside and found a first-timer about to make this Boston Marathon debut. Aaron from Maryland, got the cup of coffee in hand. You're good to go, huh? All ready to go, yep. What are the first impressions of this whole experience? It's a, it's a big marathon. I've never, never been such a large marathon before. It's, it's crazy, yeah. What's been your approach going in? You said you've been hearing countless stories from, from everyone who has experienced this before. Yeah, so I, I don't know what to expect. Uh, uh, weather has kind of been going up and down, so you don't know if it's going to be hot or rainy. So kind of just playing it by ear. How are you planning accordingly for that? You got the poncho. Uh, got a poncho. I've got a you know singlet underneath. Got a sweatshirt, so I'll shed as many layers as I need, depending on what the weather is at the start. As far as between now and the start time, you were saying you have a pretty pretty simple routine right now to get your mind right. Yeah, just coffee, bagel, kind of take it easy. I believe to, yeah, you said don't freak out was rule number three, right? Don't freak out. Yeah. <laughs> How much of a mind game is this going in, especially in these final moments before you start making your way? Uh, it's kind of like uh, you know going up the. Uh, going up the hill on a roller coaster getting ready to you know start the scary part it's getting getting a little bit scarier as we get closer to the start all right it's about to go down so keep it together my friend and best of luck to you today appreciate your time chris cable send it back to you